welcome back to our channel today i just wanted to check in with you um have a quick discussion about some of the products that i used in the uh, wash day video i had someone ask me the benefits of each of the ingredients that we added to the conditioner so i wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about that so we're first going to start with the benefits of the amla powder the amla powder is made from the leaves of indian gooseberries so they grind it up and they use it for medicinal purposes and they also use it for your hair now these are the benefits that are suggested that amla powder has for our natural hair it conditions your scalp it promotes healthy hair it improves the tone of particular dyes like henna it minimizes gray hair and baby <laughs> woman of a certain age we need all the minimization we can get you feel me <laughs> um it boosts volume so it gives you if you're a person that does not have thick voluminous hair then it'll help give you that extra body that you're looking for. It reduces the dandruff um, on your scalp, and it's probably the same, you know, it goes hand in hand with the conditioning of your scalp. As long as your scalp is conditioned, then um, dandruff really can take root and hold, right? And if you're somebody that struggles with head lice, apparently it treats head lice as well. So that's good to know. This, <clears throat> which is another, item that I use um, in my deep conditioner. This is from the actual flower itself, the flower, not the leaves, um, dry it out and ground up. And so hibiscus stops hair loss. So it minimizes the amount of shedding that you will do. I look healthy and luxurious and lustrous. We all can use body and shine. Again, it prevents premature graying. So again, it's working for our good, honey. Let's keep this hair gray free or gray minimized. Cause I got this, you know, it's up in there as long as we can. It also thickens your hair and adds volume. Like I said, we'll hear a lot of repetitive things as we go over each of the ingredients. It treats dandruff. It conditions against frizziness, dryness, and breakage. And we know in this natural hair game, that's something that we need the most because with the manipulation and how our hair is, um, manipulation that we have to do to get our hair into different styles, we need something that's going to help protect our hair against the things that we do to it. So that is a definite good quality for the hibiscus to have to help strengthen our strands. And it helps to prevent split ends. We know split ends are the absolute worst in this game, okay? I am always finding myself looking at my hair like, oh, I think my ends are split. You know, my hair likes to do what it wanna do. But using hibiscus regularly helps to prevent that from happening. Use some oils, uh, generally argan oil and jojoba oil. Um, and that's because those are oils that are specific for our hair. They promote hair growth, healthy, lustrous looking hair. So that's why I add those to the conditioner. The last powder that I add of the three is bamboo. And so when you think of bamboo, you just think about the bamboo shoots, um, the actual, like the bamboo, it's filled with actual silica. It has an average of 70% all natural silica concentration. Silica is an important trace mineral that helps strengthen your blood vessels and improve your circulation, which can stimulate blood flow to the scalp, encourage growth. So it also cleanses your scalp. First of all, there's nothing more important than keeping your scalp clean, especially for someone like me. I have psoriasis of the scalp. I have it on you know, my skin as well, but I have psoriasis of the scalp. And if I do not keep my scalp clean, I end up with plaques within my scalp. And what happens is the plaques grow upward. So they'll start like a little small circle and then they'll grow this way. And what happens is it will trap my hair in 
the psoriasis plaques and pull my hair from the follicles. So if my scalp does not remain clean, I could actually do more damage and end up losing hair um, trying to remove the plaques from my scalp. So you definitely want to have a clean scalp. Bamboo is a great feature to your conditioner for moisture retention. And we know that with natural hair, we're always struggling with dryness and retaining moisture in our hair. And bamboo promotes that. And being somebody who, again, has a sensitive scalp, bamboo is great for that because it is, it adds nutrients to your scalp that helps give you not only luxurious looking hair, but it protects the sensitiveness of your scalp. Um, and it's also a conditioner. So basically all three of the powders that I use do basically the same thing. Um, one may have just a little step above the other, but you know, cause like bamboo is the only one that has moisture retention, even though it helps prevent, you know, hair breakage and it has um, scalp cleaning abilities, right? but it's the only one that has moisture retention. Um, where the hibiscus conditions against frizz, dryness, and breakage, right? So other ones strengthen your hair, which is the breakage portion, but they don't combat frizz and dryness, you know? So amylose improves the tone of hair and hair dyes. And so that's something, and I'm a person who dyes my hair. Sometimes I dye, dye it with henna, Sometimes I'm like, hey, let's just damage your hair all together because you're gonna get this cute popping color. Don't judge me, but that's what happens. So it's the benefits that they have individually and they work wonderfully together to make a basic strengthening superpower cocktail in the deep conditioner. Then I also add honey to the um, deep conditioner mixture. And the properties of honey is it's a great humectant. It keeps your hair moisturized. It like seeks out the moisture and it attaches it to your follicles. And that's what I love about it. Um, it locks in the moisture and it adds shine to your hair. So that's why you see me putting honey in my conditioner. Now, even though as a vegan, I um, probably should not use honey. Um, so I probably should say that I'm more plant-based, but I'm, for the most part, I don't, uh, I don't consume honey, but I do put it in my deep conditioner. So that's faux pas and I, I shouldn't do that, but I do. Um, so those are the ingredients, like I said, that are constant in my conditioning, my deep conditioning process. The conditioner itself will change the oils will change, you know, or vary, you know, from time to time, depending on what I have handy. But those things change. They are constant. And since I've been doing them, and then I got them from, I got the idea and the conditioning recipe, Fusions of Culture. Um, and I saw her do it and I'm like, hmm, let me try that. And since I've been doing it, I have zero complaints about my hair. The fact that I'm even able to decondition on dry hair before I ever wash it and start the whole process and still feel like I'm conditioning and protecting my strands really lets me know how wonderful these powders are and how wonderfully they work together. So I'm really excited about that and I hope that this helps break down the conditioner and the why um, behind it, why it's a great benefit to you. And I don't want anybody to feel like because I deep condition on dry hair, that this deep conditioner is not as effective on wet hair because that's just not the case. I've done them both ways. I just find that I most often do the deep conditioning process before, before I really start yanking and manipulating my hair I want my strands to be strengthened. I want my strands to already be prepared to hold on to the moisture and things like that. So that's why doing it dry is my um, process of choice, but it's not the only process. So I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about that. 
So hopefully this video was helpful. I miss you guys. Um, as you can see, my hair is still out. Um, I'm gonna put it away. I have not touched it though. So just know that I'm still in this low manipulation. It's like one side, washed my hair and twisted it. I took it a loose, that's it. I've had it like this for a week and at night I just put it up, wrap it up. In the morning, I just take it down and I shake. Um, I have a wedding to go to on Sunday. So once I go to the wedding on Sunday, I'm probably gonna retwist like the night before, just some big twists. But after that, come Monday, oh baby, these are going up in mini twists so that it can be not only low manipulation, but it can also be in a protective style. Even though this is not a um, non-protective style, um, I want my strands completely away during this process through now through January. So I don't have anything else planned, um, any holidays or big things, no more birthday parties, Lord Jesus, no more birthday parties for a while. You know, my mom had a great time and that made me so excited. Um, so I'm going to be able to, you know, just put my hair up and kick it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends and family because we need more people in our community. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're reminded every time I do a video. I'm counting on you guys. All right. Bye, loves. Talk to you soon.